Welcome to the stage of history. I am your illustrious host, Kevin Uncanny Anytime. All right, welcome back, y'all. It is Mindset Matters Monday, and uh, I'm literally sitting here at the same time feeding my daughter. Today was kind of crazy. It's the first day of school. I am discombobulated, so if y'all hear my daughter or word party in the background, that is why. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, nah, but I definitely had a great one for y'all today, and what we wanted to discuss is it's not about what you get, it's about what you become, right? I listened to, I had the privilege of listening to one of uh, Jim Rohn's classic seminars, The Best Life Ever. And that was one of the things he mentioned in that was, it's not about what you get, it's about what you become, right? And so you got to really think about that as you go about your journey. What are you becoming? And is that important to you? Is that important to you? Are you really concerned about who and what you're becoming? Or are you worried about the things that you can get? There was a, a legendary quote that I live by that is called, or that's, that's the way you say it is, the secret awaits eyes unclouded by ambition. Those <laughs> see i'm kind of thrown off because i'm multitasking right now but it's the secret awaits eyes unclouded by ambition those who are bound by desire can only see what can be held in their hands and so here is what uh at least the the bottom part of of that means is that if you're so gung-ho on trying to obtain things money cars houses places blah 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 if you're so hooked on the tangible you will not spot out the secret you will not spot out the secret of life because the the essence of life is truly in what you're becoming the journey the secret awaits eyes unclouded not saying you can't be ambitious, but unclouded by ambition. Those who are bound by desire. Not saying that you can't desire things, but those who are bound by that desire can only see, can only see what can be held in their hands. And so, yeah, if you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand, but I'm on subatomic, y'all. And that you cannot see. You cannot see anything held in your hands. You can't see. If you hold your hand out and cup it, you can't see all of the subatomic particles that you're literally cupping in space and time in that particular instance. You can't see that. So if that's what you're worried about, all oh, what I, you know, what I hold in my mind, what I can see in my hands, if you're only concerned about that, that you got a lot of work to do you got a lot of work to do because it is truly not about that y'all this life is not about that you can't see the oxygen coming back to you from the trees that's subatomic y'all you see what i'm saying you have to really really think about what you are actually living for because if you're living for tangible things, if you're living to just obtain things that you can touch in the pretty and the surface level, that is going to, in, and in the end, that's going to damage you. You're going to be like, I regret that. I guarantee it because it's not about the things. We create all of these things that we can see and grab and feel, right? The miraculous God sp spoke these things into existence that you can't even describe, such as how would you speak a tree into existence, right? How do you think a tree? How do you manifest a tree? None of us can say that. You can't tell me how a tree is built, right? 
but you can tell me how it grows. You can't tell me how it was built, though. You see what I'm saying? That's a completely different energy, completely different energy. So when you think about that and you really start diving into what is life really about? What are these things? Why are these things here? Why is it this ecosystem that's that's helping everything to continue? That's when you really start to break the the mold, right? That's when you really start to look past the surface and you start to see the core beings of people or things or places. It's not about the physical structure of it. It's about the energy that's there. That's when you tapped in, y'all. And so that's what I wanted to help you to understand with this. It's not about what, what oh, you know, I need to get paid what I'm worth or you need to get this or I need to get that or get, 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 get. No, no, no. It's about what are you, what are you actually turning into? What are you morphing into as you go through these processes, as you live your life continuously? What's happening to you, not on the outside and you say, oh, well, I'm, I look a little older or this, or I changed my hair or I got glasses now, or I got blah, 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 whatever the case may be. It is up to you to see past that and to say, how am I now being represented energetically, energetically? What do I look like? Huh? What do I look like? If, if you could only see energy, what would you look like? Would you be dark, twisted, um, shadowy, or would you be bright and, and clear and and brimming with with energy right that's what we want to think about that's really what you want to think about it is really really important because it is it's something it's something you can't almost even describe when it's happening to you all you know is how to lay out the blueprint of the process of how you how you're getting there right but as you're feeling it it's really hard to to help people to see what you're talking about because it's almost set up that way that they have to go through the experience to really really get it and i encourage anyone that is on a self development journey to really really take a deep look into themselves and to see who are they really becoming? Who are you turning into? And I, and I had to look at this myself and I'm going to be really candid with you guys today. Okay. I'm going to be really just straight up. Okay. Because I'm starting to see what my purpose is like fully, even though I thought that for a particular time, I thought I knew what was up, right? I thought, oh yeah, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. No, that's going to be a constant evolution of things, right? And as I continue to dive into what I'm supposed to be doing, now it's becoming very, very clear. And, and some of the, some of the quote unquote discipline disciplinary action that I've received, um, that I know that's between me and God, I, I now fully, fully understand why. And it's, it's because there's such a responsibility on what I'm doing and where I'm supposed to be and who I'm supposed to become. That he's like, dude, if you're not going to listen, if you're going to just, you know, be this guy who just roams around and uses his looks for whatever and decides to you know use it for selfish and and non-beneficial to the earth or to yourself or to others gain then you're gonna you're gonna waste what that gift is that i gave you and i don't want you to do that so i'm gonna give you some more responsibility so that you can actually look deeper into this and hopefully you you get it hopefully you do understand that that's what it's for and that's what I feel like I've seen. So everything we go through, y'all, is a it's all a part of your journey. It's all a part of the stuff that you need to learn. Anything you're going through, whether it be hardship, whether it be something that you feel like, oh, this this is unwarranted, or it's you know, woe is me for this or that, or whatever the case may be, you gotta really, really 
dive into it subatomically and be like, yo, where's the lesson at though? Where's the lesson? There's got to be a lesson in here somewhere. How can I learn from this? What can I, what can I spot out from this? Like, what can I actually gain from this? Even though it seems like I'm being taken away from, I, it seems like something's being siphoned out of me, right? Even though it may appear that way, I'm telling you, there is a lesson and a teaching in everything win or loss there's always something you can learn from the experience and i'm gonna give you a real quick uh experience or story that i know about bruce lee one of my favorites right one of my i say mentors i haven't studied him super deep as i have other mentors but definitely one of my mentors right so check this out bruce lee man <sighs> going through a fight um, where these all these masters hated that he was teaching um, Kung Fu to uh, Americans, right? They was really upset about that. And they like, no, nah, dude, we finna set up this fight. And if, you know, if we win, you know, our guy wins, then guess what? You're going to have to cut this out, all right? You're going to have to stop doing this and um, you have to listen to us and drop everything and, you know, quit your school and all of that stuff, right? So they set up this fight. They go through the fight, right? They go set it up and he goes to it. And first of all, what's crazy about it is it made him realize so many different things, right? So I'm going to give you a couple things out of it. One is he said a, the real life fight, other than everything he had been learning, the real life fight, as opposed to learning structures and techniques and these movements and all of this stuff, he said it was like nothing he ever experienced. He was like, dude was running all over the place. It was hard. He he wasn't even really fighting. He was mostly running from him because, you know, the the it was clearly he was clearly outmatched. And he's like, it was such an unorthodox fight. I wasn't even prepared with all of the styles that I know. And so he was like, that tripped me out. So that molded him to literally create his own style called Jeet Kune Do, right? So, so think about that. So that's the first thing. But then the second thing is that, look, he won. And I remember because this is in his, his daughter's book. She said he was messed up about it. He was like, yo, that was not cool. And he won. He won the fight. He's like, no, that wasn't. No, no, I didn't even like that. Like, there's so much that I need to learn. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. That's when you tap into a completely different spectrum. When you even because he could have went out and celebrated, he could be like, yeah, I can keep my school or I can keep my teachings and blah, blah, blah. And I kicked his butt and this, that and the other. But no, nah, he was like, no, nah, that didn't go. No, nah, that wasn't how I pictured it at all. This was not this was not good. Like I won, but it was sloppy. It was unorthodox. I was not ready for half of the stuff that was going on. He didn't like that feeling and he knew it wasn't right, which is what led him to begin a whole new journey in his philosophy and his style. That's where it's at, y'all. That's where it's at. That's what I'm saying. You ain't he didn't gain and yeah, what did he get? Oh, I got the tangible. I get to keep my school. No, 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 no. He gained information out of the situation. He went subatomic and was like, no, we need to look past the winning, the tangible, the, oh, what am I getting right now? No, 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 no. We're going to look into this form, into this style, into this sloppy way of how this entire situation went, right? What is that about? He was like, that felt silly, man. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Even sometimes in wins, there's a lesson there. Don't just be so quick to be like, yes, I got what I needed and whatever, who, however it had to happen, I got it. And it's like, no, no, that's not, that's not good. If you can't truly cupcake over here letting y'all know man he like she like facts but no if you can't truly gain something out of every situation you're not ready yet and with that because she probably about to go ham i'm gonna let y'all go okay i'm gonna let y'all go with that so i want you to really dive into that really dive into that and understand what i'm talking about okay so again open enrollment as always is going to be at the end of the month and always, always, always know, y'all, 
that mindset matters more than anything else okay love you guys very very much go to the mindset matters more dot store get some gear all right rep the crown so that you can constantly remind yourself that mindset matters keep it top of mind all right and um yeah look out i got a new host i'm gonna i'm actually gonna open up another day for live wednesdays i'm gonna be going live now with a new with a new co-host y'all oh man exciting information exciting news a new mindset coach a new mindset co-host coach it is on and popping y'all so get ready for that next wednesday already we going live ready to go okay i'm gonna tell y'all this tomorrow on my live too very exciting very exciting <laughs> because the conversation we had today was freaking phenomenal all right so look out for that love you guys very very much have a fantastic rest of, of the week i'll see you tomorrow anytime out <laughs>